Hey everyone, I'm your fave nurse B. Let's adjust a few things. <laughs> adjust it a little bit, yeah. Oh, the girl is out, okay. Okay, so in this video, I wanna talk about what's more important, going for experience or going for the money, securing the bag or getting the knowledge and the experience that you need when it comes to healthcare. Unfortunately, you all, depending on where you're at in your nursing career location, all that jazz, you really have to choose one over the other. Um, so that's why I feel like this video is important. I've gotten this question a few times and I've gotten like, what should I do? Should I go for this job that is 20 minutes away but they pay me more or go for the job that's right down the street but I'm gonna get less experience and they pay me less, you know, or they pay me a little bit more, so whatever. So it's a lot of pros and cons when it comes to certain things. As you all know, here on this channel, your fave nurse B, my philosophy for every single video that I do when I give you all advice or whatever, is you do what fits you. You do what fits you. I'm here to give you the knowledge, the information, and you just see how it can fit your life. One minute you might say, okay, at some point in my life, I need to go for the money. And then you get to some point and say, you know what, I wanna gain more information, more knowledge. I wanna be more well-rounded nurse. So, first starting off, no matter where you're gonna work, you're gonna get the experience. So you may as well go for the money, boo, or go for where you wanna work. Go for the location. If you wanna be in a hospital, go for the hospital. I've heard from numerous nurses that hospitals pay less than nursing homes. And even just for me looking for jobs, hospitals pay less than nursing homes. I've heard that and I've seen it just from my experience. So keep that in mind. But say for instance, you want that experience of a hospital, but you wanna get paid a little bit more. I'm gonna give you all just something that you can do in order to make more money um, in general. So, anywho, getting back to which one you should choose. Say, for instance, you have, you know, you have kids, and you're like, I gotta make this money, I gotta make this money, but I want to get experience. There's ways that you can go about getting more experience, but still getting paid a decent amount of money. Um, but if you got kids, you got stuff you gotta take care of. You might just want to go for the money. Um, say you don't have kids or you don't have a lot of responsibilities and you just want to get as much information as possible Go for the knowledge go for the knowledge because honestly you all you get to a certain point in your career or in your life in general when you have your relationship with money and you realize that like Yes, money is great. It gets me from point A to point B. I can live the lifestyle I want yada 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 But when you make more money, you want to make more money. You want to make more money the money like the appetite for money never is like you never get to a point of cessation is it cessation it's never satiated i forgot the freaking word that means like you're satisfied basically like money is like the tailless head of a dragon like it's just the head of the dragon just it just wants to eat 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 like you're gonna always go for it so you're gonna get that was like a long time <laughs> explanation <laughs> but when it comes to money like you're never gonna get that moment of satisfaction there's always gonna be a point where you're like okay it's money it's great i love it you know what, what whatever and you're gonna want more so go for the more get more of that knowledge for me i want to teach and i want to help you all and I give you all more information like i really want to be a source for nurses aspiring nurses cnas new nurses all that jazz so for me going for the experience is very important especially when i start teaching because i don't just want to be a teacher that just you know it's like oh mm, mm. I, when i was working in a nursing home this is the, no, i want to know like a lot different parts of nursing plus i feel like I just like to know it all. Like I want to know it all. I want to know a little bit of something from everything when it comes to healthcare. So I would definitely, my next step is to go for more knowledge-based, more um, experience-based work going forward. Um, so you see what fits you in that certain point in time, but also just know that you're going to get to that point where the money is not going to be satisfying. Maybe it will be for you, but for me, I don't I didn't, I mean, I went into nursing and healthcare for money, but like I really am interested in healthcare, interested in this industry, in, interested in being able to teach people. So I have to acquire this knowledge because it's just like I want it so bad. Um, and I want to be able to help people, and the way you're sure able to help people is to know more, right? So that's that. But here is a way say you're like stuck between should I work this hospital job or work the nursing home that's going to pay me more but give me less experience? I say, Go for the hospital, see if you can go in, 
part-time or PRN. Okay. And then have the nursing home full-time so you can make that money. And then you can do PRN at the hospital to, to get that experience. You can do that. That's one option. The second option is to work at the hospital part-time or full-time and then go to the nursing home PRN or do agency PRN to make more of the bulk of your money. Especially because hospitals usually do three days a week. It just depends. But some positions you do five days a week, yada, yada, yada. Um, so yeah, do that. Try to have more than one stream of income, which is what I talked about in my last video. Talking about how you can make more money as a CNA or a nurse. So go check that out. But do that and see if that fits you, okay? I definitely, I mean, it's a simple fix. Part-time somewhere, full-time somewhere, and then just use both of them to make more money. Does that make sense? Did I explain that well? I don't freaking know. I hope I did. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section what have you chosen? Have you chosen money over experience or experience over money? Or have you been fortunate enough to find both? That's what I'm working on right now. Being able to basically do what I want and money is... I, I never want to say like money ain't nothing. I don't need money. Like no, I, I like money. I enjoy it. I enjoy what I have when I have more money. I, I love those things. You know, um, so I'm not gonna say just write off money because I love what money can give me. But also I understand that there's some things that money cannot give you. So that's that. And I hope you all got what I've meant in this video is to basically, sometimes you have to just change your focus. And maybe you work at the hospital for six months, get that great experience, and then you go back to the nursing home to make more money. And then you go back to a hospital somewhere. Maybe you do both. Or maybe you stay at the hospital because you know they're going to pay you more when it comes to um, going back to school. They'll help you with school. You always have to weigh out your options and see what fits you. What fits you. Just because all your friends are doing this, doing that, making more money than you. And you're like, dang, like, okay, I'm at this hospital getting experience. But, honey, I'm not making no money. What the heck? You know, let them do what they're going to do. You do what fits you. If you're happy, then be happy. If you want to make more money, then do things to make more money. Come here, did you pee pee? Maddie, which one do you think? M money or experience? Okay. What you think, money or experience? <laughs> crackers? What you was eating, crackers? Huh? Money or experience, Maddie? No. You want money? Money? She said, give me the money. Money. Or experience. She said, listen to your heart. Yes, listen to your heart. Yes, that's right, Maddie. Yay. Yeah, listen to your heart. You get a cracker for saying that. Yeah. Look at her, y'all. She happy. <laughs> she happy. <laughs> the simple things in life. All right, you all. I love you. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I love y'all. I love y'all. Um, but just know, like I said, you get to a point where these jobs, you're gonna realize what you do and what you bring to the table is way more valuable than what they can put into a salary. You are way more valuable than that, especially if you got your stuff together. So choose what makes you happy, what makes you feel good, put you in a comfortable comfortable situation, comfortable setting and go for that and be satisfied with that, you know? All right, I love y'all, I gotta go.